Hi, my name is James Floyd Kelly, and I'd like to welcome you to the first episode of the latest in Arduino. The latest in Arduino is going to be an ongoing video series where in each episode I share with you four things. The first is going to be an Arduino related book. The second will be an Arduino related product. The third is going to be a special project, something I may have found on the internet or something that a viewer submitted. But it's something I hope you enjoy. And then the fourth thing is going to be a special project that I try myself, a hands-on activity. And um, it's one of those activities where I cross my fingers and hope it works. So I've got four things to share with you and about four minutes left to do it. So let's get started. The Arduino cookbook is written by Michael Margolis. The book starts out with a nice overview of the Arduino and the IDE. And then it moves into what the author refers to as recipes. The recipes or the code samples have good commenting. All of the recipes are followed by a discussion that goes a bit deeper into how that recipe works. The Arduino cookbook is going to be, I believe, one of those books that you should have on your shelf. You're going to find yourself pulling it down over and over again. Hi, I, uh, I'm here with Will of RevoltLab.com, and I'm going to chat with him about uh, a device he has um, put together called the Perfduino. It's an Arduino clone. Where did you get this idea? How did this come about? Well, it was really just uh, economic necessity. We, I couldn't afford to put the brand new shiny Arduino into every project that we had. Yeah, what's the cost of the Perfduino if you add up all the components in the Perf board? The Perfduino itself is about $13 to make. These are the analog pins right here. And on the other side, we have digital pins 2 to 13 and uh, analog reference right at the end. Yep. Let's see the and soldering right on the back. Oh, yeah, right here. Uh, look at all that lead. <laughs> and tell us uh, where we can learn some more. Yeah, uh, if you go to revoltlab.com, you can see all of the directions on how to make your very own Perfduino. Listen, Will, thanks for taking time to chat with me about your Perfduino. And uh, really, really uh, great project. Good job. Uh, you're very welcome. Post on the comments when you're done so we know, so we can see how it turned out. So here is the Mintronics Mint Duino kit from Makershed. Comes in a small tin. It's about $19.95 from Makershed. Here's your Atmega chip, and it's already got the uh, bootloader installed on it. You can see there's a 9 volt battery uh, connector and some bundles of red, black, and green wire that you'll need. Uh, and then, of course, you've got all the uh, small components, resistors, LEDs, power regulator, and we'll dump all that out. And then sitting uh, inside the tin is your little mini breadboard. You'll notice that it's folded up, and uh, that's so it can fit in the tin. These, you know, you just push them forward, they snap into place, and you've got a nice sturdy little breadboard to build the Mint Duino on. I've got the Mint Duino made. I've plugged it in, and as you can see, the reset button. Uh, actually resets it with the green LED lighting up. So it's done. Uh, it took me a total of about 20 minutes. I timed myself. Um, you do need a pair of wire strippers. Pretty easy to wire up uh, using the online instructions. Thanks for joining me uh, for the first episode of the latest in Arduino. I'd like to thank Will over at Revolt Labs for chatting with me about his Perfduino and I hope you liked the information about the Mint Duino. Finally, there's an email address at the bottom of the screen. If you have an idea for a book, a uh, website, or a project that you think others might be interested in, shoot me an email and maybe it'll be featured on a future episode. Thanks.